Well, I started my journey as a meditation teacher and, uh, I, and communications and I became interested in positive psychology because I was excited to be part of a school of thought where we're looking at what is working for people as opposed to working at things that are not working so well. And I like the idea of building on strengths, building on things that is already positive in people's lives and positive in organizations as well. And uh, positive psychology, um, I think it, it really is insightful. It's insightful on many levels. It is insightful as a, as a coach, as a trainer. I get a better understanding of the people that I am dealing with. Um, also, it's, a, it, it's applicable. You know, you learn stuff that you can apply in real life situations. Working with teams, for example. You know, how do you build positive relationships within a team? to increase engagement, to increase uh, innovation and creativity and ultimately productivity, right? Um, I think positive psychology is should be like a mandatory course for everybody to take, right? Because I personally became interested in it because of a professional side of things, but I am applying it in my family, I'm applying it with my friends, I'm applying it with, with people that I meet on an everyday basis in every contact that I have, it is relevant, right? Um, for example, resilience. How to build resilience? We live in a volatile world. Uh, there's lots of things going on at the moment that are unstable, and having resilience is something that is really important to get you forward, to get uh, companies to where they want to be, to get people to where they want to be, to get families where they want to be. And I, I just think it's applicable everywhere. I think what I love the most about this module that it helps me understand people. It helps me understand who we are, uh, in how we operate, how our brains have evolved, uh, how we the struggles we face because of, for example, our brains are not keeping up with the technology and what is that doing to us and how it's affecting the choices we make and how we build our relationships. Uh, it's important to see how we can architecture the world around us that is more conducive to building positive relationships as opposed to building negative relationships, what we have been doing so far. It gives me, it can, it helps me empathize with people because I can understand the mechanisms behind and, and see how it works. Uh, it helps me to understand how to approach things to make life easier for people so that they can tap into the natural goodness because people are good and bad, but we want to bring out the good in people. And Positive Relationships Workshop course is uh, fantastic in making you really conceptualize that and also apply it in real life. It, it helps you shift from theory to practice. And I think that's really important. Uh, she's amazing. Uh, I think uh, Evie is uh, very knowledgeable. She's very sensitive uh, to people. Uh, she she's obviously has vast amount of knowledge in terms of uh, academia and practical approaches. Uh, she makes you feel at ease so that you can actually uh, process information in a comfortable way, ask questions. Uh, I feel like I have grown a lot in this week in, my, in the terms of understanding and I think Ivy has facilitated and created that trustworthy open space, uh, open communication in, in a really humble, authentic way. I think this whole thing has just been growth, evolving, you know, I am growing with this experience. I feel like I can help other people evolve, uh, I think I can help communities evolve. I, I actually feel like I have gained enough knowledge that I can go out there and go, okay, how am I going to use that and apply it in different situations? So it's more than just learning and then having that knowledge. No, this is actually learning, digesting and understanding enough to apply.